Hey YouTube, this is Taylor Moss from Everything Under the Sun, and today I'm going to show you guys how to add physics to anything in Blender, so you can use it for your art, so you want to make uh, anything fall from the sky and want to see how it falls realistically, you can do this. Alright, so first thing we need to do is get rid of this plane, just hit the delete key. Uh, next we'll need to add a new plane to our scene, so um, if you just press spacebar and click add plane, it'll add that plane for us. Uh, scale it up till it's a decent size. Okay, so next what we need is um, our something that's going to fall. Um, I think I saw a different tutorial a while ago on coins, so I'll just do one on that. So if we add a cylinder, um, we can throw up our cylinder here, uh, scale it down on the z-axis by pressing S and then Z. So if we scale that down, we have our little coin. Uh, we can take it up here. So now what we have to do is go up to the Blender game. Uh, from here, click on this Physics tab. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to change the Physics type to a rigid body. And then we need to change the Collision Bound uh, to a cylinder. So then if you press P, which starts the game engine, you'll see it kind of fall. But that's just one, so what we can do is we can uh, Shift Duplicate. Shift D. Um, just uh, make these R's the hotkey for rotate, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, we can just make a whole slew of these. We can uh, scale them up. S is the hotkey for scale. Uh, so, now let's spin around. Alright, so now that we have quite a few coins, um, if you press P, you'll see they all fall, they all react dynamically. Um, so now, if you want to record this animation, uh, you just go up here to Game and you click Record Animation. So then, whenever you press P, it'll do its thing, it'll run through, and then... Um, that will buffer so if you press alt a it runs the animation and starts to play it and you can see here that they're all moving and all nice and all slow and perfect and so you can wait till that's done or just wait till the end of the frame when that's done you can just pause that and you can get out of blender game and it'll actually made keyframes for blender render in which you can render uh... the reason these ones are probably falling out the bottom is blender's collision detection is not often the best um, a lot of times instead of using a plane it's better to use a box and just make it really thin or actually you can make it really thick if you'd like but that uh, prevents that falling through that you get sometimes but um, if you look from the camera's point of view uh, and you go backwards you wouldn't be able to see that at all you just see them well I guess you can kind of see but anyways you see them falling you can see you can apply a texture and material to them to see how that looks um, if we just render out a single frame of it real quick, you can see it casts all the shadows and all that, and it looks pretty nice. Uh, you can do the same uh, type of physics for anything. Uh, the one thing you just have to make sure of is that you're in the Blender game mode. Uh, make sure it's a rigid body, and uh, then make sure you have your collision bounds set to whatever it is. Uh, pretty basic, pretty fun. Alright, thanks you guys.